Former President Donald Trump is back on the campaign trail despite mounting legal issues in New York, Georgia and Florida. He actually held his first rally for the 2024 election in the small town of Waco, Texas. John Moan was among the sea of people who traveled to watch the former president. He joins us now with more. With a possible indictment looming in New York, former President Donald Trump went to the heart of Texas to deliver a broadside against the prosecutors investigating him on multiple fronts. The new weapon being used by out-of-control, unhinged Democrats to cheat on election is criminally investigating a candidate, bad publicity and all. This is friendly turf for Trump and fertile ground for sowing the seeds of resentment. The crowd in Waco lined up early, hours before it was scheduled to start. This is like going to a concert or a, a Super Bowl party or something. Plenty of stalls of swag for sale. It's my Superman because to me he's honest. Unabashed displays of devotion. <laughs> and just like Texas blue bonnets in the spring, conspiracy theories were in full bloom with some. And I'm going to keep fighting for the truth of what happened. And that truth got me thrown in jail. I was just released. The sun baked the waiting crowd overhead, and so was the man at the center of their universe. Former President Trump's plane did two flyovers of the crowd of thousands before landing to adoration. Inside, the themes were familiar too, along with his attack on prosecutors. There were the familiar false claims that he won the 2020 election, resentment over continued investigations. Trump spoke for more than an hour and a half about immigration, settling scores with rivals and making baseless claims about the January 6th, 2021 insurrection. You will be vindicated and proud, and the thugs and criminals who are corrupting our justice system will be defeated, discredited, and totally disgraced. His campaign picked Waco, they say, because it's in central Texas, close to big cities. He also won this area handily in both 2016 and 2020. And Trump won McLennan County, where Waco is, by over 20 percentage points in the previous election. Uh, Texas is also a great place to talk about immigration and the border, which are issues that uh, he tends to bring up at rallies. Supporters like Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia called Trump, quote, the one true leader of the GOP, but there was some criticism of the former president after the rally. He whined a lot. I thought maybe we'd come and hear about like kind of what he's interested in implementing in the future if he was to become president again, but he got up and whined a lot. So it was kind of disappointing. The rally got mixed reviews from this group of college students who were among attendees seen leaving after about 40 minutes into his speech. She may think of it as a little whining, and to an extent, I would agree. But more than that, if you see, if you look at the broader message of what Trump is trying to say, he's trying to show the weakness of the Democrats these past three, maybe three, two years. Other supporters offered effusive praise. He's very consistent, and uh, I like what he says. I think our country is being run away with by people that have no right of doing what they're doing to people. I, I think it's wrong on both sides, but I think that Donald Trump's the guy to lead us out of this. 